Okay, hello dear friends. It's final time, so maybe this can help you. If not, just take this as your sleeping pill, as your medicine for insomnia. Okay, factor each two uh, linear factors, and one zero has been given. What does it mean to factor two linear uh, factors? Here, we have a, a function that acts to the fourth degree. And we need to separate into or factor it into four first degree time together. First degree, first degree, first degree, first degree, four times together, it makes into fourth degree. And one zero is given, so it will help us to solve this problem. We will start from this one zero, and it's a complex number, and which is actually easier for us to solve this problem. I will copy this problem first, and then we will start to do it. f x equal to x to the power of 4 plus 13 cube plus 71 x squared. 13 x cube. I might have mispronounced it. 173x plus 150, and this is the problem. Okay, let me fix my uh, camera a little bit better. And one given zero is negative 4 plus 3i. Okay, so first we need to establish that this is a fourth degree uh, polynomial, and it can be can be factorized into four roots, four zeros. And we know one zero. Then we know another zero, which is negative four minus three i. Why do we know it? Because of polynomial. This one I checked on video. I didn't see people explain. Let me try my way of explaining. For any polynomial, polynomial, no, for any quadratic function, and quadratic function, the root x equal to r a 分之负 b 加减根号下 b 方减四 a c. So this we know when the inner part b b 方减四 a c. B 方减四 AC. When this one is zero, the two roots are the same. When this is a number, the two roots are different. And uh, <clears throat> plus three i, negative four plus three i, and negative four minus three i, they are conjugated. If there is one plus, there must be one minus. If there is one plus, there must be one minus. When this one is zero, plus and minus is the same. When this one is a particular number, for example, if this one, the result, the root, become two, then it becomes negative b plus two and negative b minus two. Okay? So these we know there are two roots. So what we can figure out is x minus negative 4 plus 3i is one root, and x minus negative 4 minus 3i is another root or is another zero. And if they are zeros, they could be divided by the first formula, by the first equation, and becomes zero. So we need to clean up this one a little bit. We can change into, on the left side, open up the bracket, x plus 4 mm -mm, minus 3i. 
this side of the bracket x plus 4, right? And plus 3i. Ooh, that's a good thing. We want to get rid of this, uh, this uh, imaginary number, right? We do not like this imaginary number. So actually, we can see this and this. Take this as one portion together. And we know A, can you see it? A plus B times A minus B equal to A squared minus B squared. We know this already, right? Can you see it clearly? So we will use this to get rid of this I. So here A is x plus 4, B is 3i. So we will do it. So x squared plus 8x plus 16. So this one is, is a squared. And minus 3i is minus 9. I square is plus 9. So it equals to x squared plus 8x plus 25. So this is one root. What does it mean? You can divide, divide this formula by one of these root. Are you too big? Yes. And uh, <clears throat> one of the good way to, to do it is to use synthetic uh, uh, division. I didn't learn synthetic division. Anyway, I didn't learn math. So I just try to figure out all this by myself or uh, uh, through learning on YouTube. So I am more comfortable by this long division form. And the end result is actually the same. Divided by x squared plus 8x plus 25. Okay, so x squared, x to the fourth, plus 8x cubed plus 25x squared. This is uh, 5x cubed plus 6 um, 46x squared plus 107 3x. And this one we <coughs> do which plus 5x. 5x is 5x cubed plus 40x squared plus 5x and 25 is 125. 125x. 6x squared plus... 5, 3, 13, 5, 8, 4, plus 150. Okay, so now let's try 6 plus 6. 6 and x is a 6x squared. 648 plus 48x. And 6 times 25 is 150. Ooh, perfect. Yeah, because they give us one zero, so we know it, and now we prove that we can, uh, uh, we can, we can factor it. So I copy the problem f of x equal to x cubed plus. I will copy it. It may take some time, but worth the time. So you can see x cubed plus 75, x squared plus 173x plus 150 equal to, equal to what? The first 
three uh, 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 quotient x squared plus five x x squared plus five x plus six times x um, x uh, where where yes x squared plus eight x plus twenty five and why do we do this? We just need to, 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 to make, find out this quotient. And this quotient can be factored into x plus 2 times x plus 3. Make sense? And uh, <clears throat> the question, the teacher, want to make us a miserable life, right? Yeah, this is their job. Factor each to linear factors. So this we will need We will need to bring it back to first degree factors so x This x plus 4 minus 3i x plus 4 Plus 3i. So 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 degree to the 4th degree. 4 degree, 1, 2, 3, 4. Each 1 degree. 1 plus 1, 2 degree, 3 degree, 4 degree. So we, uh, so we, 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 we break it up into these 4 linear linear uh, uh, factors. Linear means one degree. Anything linear means uh, it's a straight line. It's a straight line. It's not a curve. It's not a zigzag. Okay? Thank you very much. I hope you are sound asleep because it's so boring. I love you. I really do. do, 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 do